and I'm back with Let's Play Master of Orion 2. So, we have a quite okay starting system and three ships, two scouts and a colony ship, which we'll use to scout our neighboring systems. It's pretty important that you leave your colony ship behind on this because there are nasty space monsters, or there might be at least. And if you send your colony ship with your scouts, it might get eaten. And we don't want this to happen, obviously. So we'll tell our home planet to build a colony ship and we'll start researching. This is where choosing to be creative comes in really handy because you see, if I research advanced engineering, I'll have to pick from anti-missile rockets, reinforced hull or fighter base. But since I'm creative, I get all three of them. This is pretty, pretty much overpowered because it gives us two major advantages in the game. First, we're not dependent on technology exchange with other races to get vital technologies. And second, I can trade non-vital or rubbish technology to other races to gain a huge diplomatic bonus with them. Both things we'll need in this game. So first we'll research this one here. So let's look. Ooh. Oh, too sad. It's a medium-sized Terran planet can house 18 of our population but it don't have much mineral so not too good toxic planet or oh, abundant I oh. not too bad but well we can we could use this for producing our food oh, we'll have to see and the other system is totally empty whoa Okay, so, and yeah, there we have our first space monster, a space hydra attack sector is in the Vox system. So if I press the mouse button, space combat will start and you'll see what this monster will do with our scout. Absolutely annihilated. <laughs> so, GAM deposits. One of the planets in the system contains extensive GAM deposits and will generate 10 billion credits per turn once a colony has been established on the planet. Whoa, so the Hydra is guiding a huge Gaia planet which is ultra rich in minerals, which is the best setting, has heavy gravity and gem deposits on top of it. This is a really awesome planet to have, but it's guarded by the Space Hydra and we won't be able to beat it for quite some time, so our actual choices are very very limited to say the least. This system being empty and this system and this one with the Hydra and we can't reach any other systems right now because we don't have the technology. This is not a good beginning. So, well, oh, let me think for a moment, ultra poor rich, okay, I'll actually colonize the poor Terran planet and make it my farm planet, and research has finished, this is pretty much boring stuff, so we'll research the next one. So we'll tell them to build a spy or a freighter fleet, but it will take them forever, literally, because right now they don't have any industrial production, which is fine with me. And this is our first leader. There are two types of leaders, diplomatic leaders and civilian leaders, uh, what am I saying? Military leaders and civilian leaders. This is a military one, 
and we don't need it so I'll reject him so this is our first important scientific breakthrough automated factories building an automated factory on a planet gives you two bonuses first every peop uh, all people working there get a bonus on their production but more importantly the automated factory generates five production points on its own nobody's working and the planet has five production points automatically very handy and very important so next I'll get the research laboratory which is the same as the automated factory just for research so and because we really need this I'll replace the colony ship with an automated factory notice that it will be finished within one turn this is a game mechanic which we will exploit quite often li most likely because uh, the way production works in this game is you accumulate your production points and only if you reach uh, the limit needed for your current project they get spent until that you only accumulate production and you can change your production goal anytime and lose nothing of the accumulated production so this is how I complete the automated factory in one turn very important mechanic to use so let's spend one turn complete our automated factory and now we'll have a change in plans because there aren't really that good of planets right on but we have some okay planets in our starting system we won't build a colony ship but a colony base a colony base works pretty much like a colony ship except it can't travel through space I can only use it to colonize these four other planets I won't colonize all of them but only the rich two barren planets for starters but and I'll do so with the colony base because the colony base is cheaper than the colony ship and first I'll be the freighter fleet to ship some food there because you can't grow food on barren planets this is another leader he's quite interesting although he's a military guy he has a diplomatic bonus but I can't afford him right now, so too bad. And that got finished. So next we'll research biology because here are many things which increase our capability to produce food, which we'll need desperately. Oh, I like you. This is a civilian leader, he has a diplomatic bonus, which is very handy. He is famous, which means if I hire him, he'll actively attract other leaders and make them be more cheap to buy. And he's wealthy, which is very, very good. Because when I created my race, I picked the money penalty and he gives me an extra 10 billion credits per round. So definitely going to hire you very nice and I'm gonna assign him to our second system I don't really have to but I feel like it so and we'll get to choose a destination for a colony base and we'll take this rich barren planet and build an automated factory and a research lab there and our, on our home planet will be the research lab too. Infrastructure in this game is very important, so you'll see me building lots and lots of buildings on nearly every planet. And we've discovered a pirate cache. A pirate stash is found on one of the planets and contained 100 billion credits. Whoa! Nice! But the system itself sucks. 
but we'll get it anyway because we desperately need to expand past the space hitler because if we don't colonize this system we can't travel there until we get better fuel cells and i don't want to spend research on fuel cells right now so i'll take another short break and be back in a second 